All right. President Obama won the Democratic primary in West Virginia last night, uh, but it wasn't the cleanest of victories. His challenger actually managed to pull in more than 40 percent of the vote, even though he's currently serving a 210-month prison sentence. Uh, we've got to bring in our CNN political editor, Paul Steinhauser, for this. All right, Paul, uh, the inmate's name, Keith Russell Judd. What do you make of this? This is truly a bizarre story, and we have a photograph of him as well. Let's take a look at, uh, at Keith Judd, and, and you can, as we, as we look at the photograph, yeah, according to the unofficial results from the Secretary of State's office, he won about a little over 40 percent of the vote, 42.28 percent, uh, that's still coming in. Uh, just truly bizarre. Now, now, my couple things. This is West Virginia. This is a state where President Obama has never done well. Four years ago in the Democratic pr primary, he lost by over 40 points to then-Senator Hillary Clinton, and he went on to lose the state by double digits in the general election four years ago to Senator John McCain. So not a great state for uh, President Obama, not a state that they're even going to try to win this time around, but still just a bizarre story. Yeah. yeah. Shows, yeah. But, and they're, they're, listen, it's a meaningless contest, but it's not good news, I guess you could say, for the White House. Any comment from the White House on it? Uh, on this one, no, other than to point out that they said that Mitt Romney, you know, didn't uh, do so spectacularly okay. either in the, in the Republican primary. They only winning about two-thirds of the vote. The, the quick deflection there.